Oh, yes. Looks like the fox got into the hen house. Welcome back to Rex Memphis, it's the Alpha Tyrannosaurus, the talking to your Rex, aka Alpha Jolsey speaking here, and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2, where we will do some more testing with terrain tools for this episode in this uh, game in the sandbox map we see right here. Last time we did the Megalodon, but now we're headed into the aviary, and we're going to see if the Indominus Rex, is the dinosaur hybrid from Jurassic World, of course, can actually battle and hunt down pterosaurs with these terrain tools you see right here actually you can build through we are going to release a indominus rex because the indominus can't actually break into the aviary when it broke out from its own enclosure in this game so we're going to see what will happen but before we actually start there's a little a disclaimer right here frontier of course the makers from this game do not support mods for this game if you're playing around with these mods yourself your game breaks anything happens is your responsibility and not on their end mine neither so let me get that straight <laughs> so we're having that said because it is quite important let's head over and place down uh, oh it's glitching already hatchery right here so where can we actually <laughs> on which side do you guys remember which side the enormous rex broke in i think it's just like one gigantic aviary like this i don't think it's it's like in the shape of that but if we place this right here it's a lot smaller than in the movie in the movie it's a lot <laughs> bigger than this we can actually just place it let's let's trap the, <laughs> the triceratops in here oh boy <laughs> i hope i don't have uh, don't starve in the sandbox settings let me set you all free there you go <laughs> so um let, where were we yes the hatchery Let's actually put it next to the, um, yes, the, the aviary hatchery. Oh, can we? Oh, no, we can't build there. Let's see. Where is this? Oh, it's so close right there. Um, let's have it right there. I think that's good. Let's put it a bit more in. And there we go. That's looking good. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> it's an Indominus in the arena in a second actually. Do I need to connect this? I'm not too sure because I do have some mods um, installed uh, with this. I don't know. Yes, of course. It can go through anything, even the path. And now it's connected. Okay, let me um, add some of these. Addition. Uh, we don't really need them. But I, it's a habit of just doing that. It's campaign and challenge mode. Anyways, let's scroll down for, for the Indominus. The default skin is not the original skin. This one, I guess, the closest one. I think I'm right. <laughs> the black pattern and it's white. Well, that's from the movie, of course. So let's put that in. And uh, yes, select that egg for one Indominus Rex and have you right there. Now, what do we actually have in this aviary? I forgot to actually showcase the aviary. We got a dead dinosaur. Oh, it is actually a pteranodon. What happened to this one? Starved to death. Oh, boy. Oh, it's not looking uh, so good. But we do have some pterosaurs, such as the pteranodon and dimorphodons in here. I released some more, actually, because it was looking kind of empty. But as you can see, there's a little dimorphodon there. We do have some different kind of... Pteranodon skins, I believe. Yeah, one with the red crest and stuff like that. We do have more uh, <laughs> in the hatchery ready to be released with the maximum egg batch. So let's release some Dimorphodons in here. Yes, fly away. And there you go. We got some Dimorphodons in the aviary. Now let's put some more uh, Pteranodons in here. And there we are. Oh, it's a beautiful aviary. Yes, look at that. Now, everyone, <laughs> most of them actually are going to this feeder. We can't do the capture mode for some reason. But everyone's going, look at all the Dimorphodons at the feeder. It's a feeder frenzy right there. But the other two are just being left out. I'm not too sure. Don't ask why. I don't know how that one starved to death. But anyways, I do want to check out, um, there is no, for, as for right now at least, there is no combat frequency um, in the sandbox settings for this game. In the Jurassic World Evolution 1, that was an option, but in this game it's not. So, yes, it's a bit difficult to tell when the dinosaurs are actually going to fight each other and stuff like that. It gives you less control to hope they plan to add that in the feature. But yes, as for default, 
every dinosaur would battle against each other, ex except for herbivores right here. Um, herbivores able to initiate fights, but of course, um, pterosaurs aren't herbivores, so we don't really have to worry about that. <laughs> kind of the anxiety that brought up that. I was like, oh boy, do I have combat frequency and on? Oh no, wait, it's the second installment. We don't have that. <laughs> so, um, it should be the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, alright, let's see what happens when we release an Indominus Rex in here. We could have started off with Raptors. I think Raptors would be the best of it right here. Even Indoraptor, actually. Um, maybe we should actually put an Indoraptor right in there. Because Indoraptor does have some unique animations we've seen from the Indoraptor Showcase video. Yes, <laughs> have you seen it yet? Go check it out as well. And make sure to stop with your foot on that subscribe bell button if you have not already for more Jurassic World Evolution content yes forgot to say that at the beginning but anyways i'll just say it right here <laughs> so um we have it in the raptor right here as i said it has some unique animations to hunt down some pterosaurs and probably raptors as well so we'll just put some raptors in here as well if the indominus rex fails to battle and hunt down uh, pterosaurs. I have not yet seen that. So, we're, yeah, that's why we're in here. Testing it out. So, we have six raptors. Let's release four. I think that should be enough. But, of course, you are here for the Indominus Rex. So, let's release an Indominus. Oh, yes. Looks like the hen got in. <laughs> no, no, not the hen. <laughs> Looks like the fox got into the hen house. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> the sound effects are uh, not here anymore, but here we have an Indominus almost stepping on a uh, Ternodon there. It's already in here. Just casually next to the Tersels. Oh my word. Now, it doesn't get any closer to the uh, canon Jurassic World scene right here. Look at this. It's, it's a lot less chaosy. Can it actually reach the pterosaurs up there when it's sitting? They're actually safe. Not that, though. No, no, no. They're not safe. No. Not at all. But, yes, it doesn't. Um, that's why I put up the sandbox settings. Don't starve. Yes, that's what I wanted to search up. I immediately forgot there. T-Rex brain walnut. Um, <laughs> um, actually, if the dinosaurs, that's what I wanted to check out, if they have a starve thingamajig, because that might intervene with the Indominus Rex behavior. Dinosaurs don't starve. Yeah, okay, so that is off, so that should be all good. No promises here. I already lost the Indominus. Where is the Indominus? There it is. <laughs> Camouflage abilities. Expanding territory. So, the Indominus is finally in the aviary. This is the breakout that I wanted to see. This could have been a mission, a campaign mission, um, like uh, in the Jurassic World Chaos Theory. It could have been a mission that the Indominus Rex would have broken into the aviary if you had to build one and then, of course, tranquilize it out to prevent any further incidents on the pterosaurs and the guest side. But as I see right now, um, the pterosaurs are just sitting on these poles right here, which I think um, is not very good. The enormous race is so calm. It's so weird to see him so calm. <laughs> Normally, is <it's> like <laughs> even in the normal enclosure, he runs around for the food and stuff like that. But of course, there isn't much food. So what happens if I actually remove these and then they levitate? Of course, the levitating pterosaurs to give the pterosaurs less uh, things to actually sit on. Um, where are the other poles? Right there. So they actually rest on there, but if they don't have this, they will actually rest on the floor. Yes! And there we go. Oh no, they are just casually drinking. But then, of course, they'll go here. We would, So we would have to remove this too. Um, right there. If Do we have another one? I don't think we have another one. No, we do not. So now, all the Tesla's would ju be, just be sitting on the ground right there this is what i mean so they'll just be there and i think that would actually trick dinosaurs into hunting them down faster at least that's the case with the indoraptor and velociraptor there's so many tassels but indominus rex does not care so actually um this could have been done when the aviary um not the aviary broke out the tassels would just break out 
and then you'd have a broken out Indominus Rex as well. And then, of course, Frontier would have added some unique animations for the Indominus Rex. Um, oh my word, I forgot to remove these. <laughs> Looks like Indominus Rex is trying to find and determine which Tessels he wants to eat. But yes, a lot less uh, agitated than in the movie. But anyway, that would have been another way to finding out if it had a unique animation. But just having this, even though it doesn't actually hunt down or <laughs> battle uh, pterosaurs, it's a cool thing to have in your park, <laughs> actually in your sandbox, to just see an Indominus Rex <laughs> in the aviary. Where's Miss Ronnie with his helicopter? Let's do it! Um, we don't have the skin for it, actually, but who cares? It's a helicopter anyway. Let's try. Can we actually tranquilize? I don't think we can actually tranquilize. It has to be done by a drone, I think. Yes, there we go. With the iconic music there. Yes, and where's Clay and Owen? Somewhere in the forest. We got the machine gun ready. <laughs> we need to take down the Indominus. Let's see. Can oh my word, there's so many icons. <laughs> So many icons. I don't think we can do this ourselves. It'll just... Actually, does it go through? I can't tell. Does it go through? I don't see it, like, stuck on the glass. Ah, uh, let's see. I can't tell. No, I think it has to be done by a drone there. Where is the Indominus? If we... If only we had a machine gun. See, we can take a photo. <laughs> let's see. Um... Let's see, um, capture team, yes, music kicking in, tranquilize one tessel, how about that? So it will go down here and it will put a drone, and I think we can manually actually control that drone. Let's see, where's the helicopter going? Yes, there. So a drone will come out, there's the drone, if we can actually, can we take care of the drone? Pause, how do you take care of the drone? <laughs> Alright, direct control. No, that is not how we're... Okay, can't you? I thought we could. Where's that drone going? We can't take control of the drone. No, we can't. Okay. I thought we could. <laughs> Direct control. Yes. Tranquilized. Oh, then we just get... Okay. Well, I'll... that's got to be one tranquilized tessel on the ground. But maybe Indominus Rex would have to. Because it's running low on food. It is running low on food. But, um... If a pterosaur would just die on the ground, I think then it can actually eat the pterosaur. As you can see right here, that pterosaur is, uh, yep, has been tranquilized and it's just on the floor there waiting as a snack. And Indominus Rex is getting closer. <laughs> All the pterosaurs are just, they don't have anywhere to sit, do they? No. <laughs> Let's see if the Indominus, yes, there we go. Hunted down by Indominus. That's the only way for your pterosaurs to be actually to actually die by an Indominus to actually have a tranquilized <laughs> first, and then the Indominus would take a snack and of course heal up by getting food there. All right, so the Indominus Rex sadly doesn't do anything. Well, what's to be expected? But what about an Indoraptor? I don't know which skin I have for ah, of course the default skin. The roars are not here. I think it's been muffed out for the uh, aviary there, right here. The Indoraptor. Oh, yes. This is a dinosaur creation. <laughs> oh, the Dimorphodon. Oh, we can't. Can even see <laughs> you gotta go up. Yeah, there we go. To find <laughs> its prey. Yes. Now, nature hmm. might eventually have created the Indoraptor, but oh. I got there first. Uh, I think it actually it goes for the Indominus. Yes. Oh, that's not good. But... Right. And so is science. Yes. Um, <laughs> that Indominus Rex is looking... Oh, it's weird here. Not, not hearing the roars there. <laughs> I think we have to tranquilize the Indominus Rex. I think we do. Tranquilize the Indominus Rex. Because that will uh, actually fight against our Indoraptor. If there are, of course, our Indoraptor. Game crash! Of course, to be expected. <laughs> wow! I'll be right back. And we are back! Yes, but um, now we have another problem. Because, of course, we ordered the... Uh, <laughs> oh boy, Dr. Henry, we were again. But now we do have a problem. Because, like I said, the helicopter 
could not actually tranquilize through the glass. But what if a drone comes in here, tranquilize a pterosaur first, and then the Indominus Rex? Otherwise, they will just fight. As you see right here, in the aviary. Oh my god, oh, of course, we can do that. I keep forgetting. <laughs> we just have to spectate the actual Indominus Rex for this fight right here. So a drone will come in. Tranquilize a Dumbledon and that Dumbledon went down and up again. <laughs> I saw that in the background. <laughs> oh my word. Indoraptor will back down. Where is that drone? That drone uh, will be coming down, I think. The doors will open for that. Let's see if that actually happens. Where is that tranquilized? Where is the drone? I did not see the drone there. There are Tersals going down. Where's the Indominus? Oh boy. Where's the Indominus? Right there. No, okay. So, the only way to get rid of the Indominus Rex in the aviary is to actually... Yes. Well. Hmm. Get, defeat it. But, um, yes. We do have some other dinosaurs ready to be released. A pack of raptors. Oh, it's blue. There we go, raptors going in. Which, of course, can also hunt down pterosaurs. So maybe they will do the job on taking down Indominus and hunt down some pterosaurs. Oh, the Dimorphodon. Look at the poor Dimorphodon. It's like, I just wanted to be alone. <laughs> it's getting so crowded in this aviary, even though it's so massive. But, uh... I don't see any animations getting triggered. Maybe Indominus Rex does have a unique animation for the te killing pterosaurs or catching pterosaurs, but I'm not too sure, actually, because right now the Indoraptor and Velociraptors are not hunting down. Oh no, they are hunting down something. Oh no, they're hunting down. What are they hunting down? They're hunting down something. They're in a pack. Let's follow them. They're in a pack hunting something. Look at this. <laughs> They're hunting something. I don't see what. Let's see. The... Oh, boy. The, that Indoraptor will go down. Okay. That Indoraptor will go down. They're hunting something. I don't know what they're hunting. Let's just keep on running, running, running. The Indoraptor did go down. Camouflaging Indominus Rex. <laughs> still trying to be tranquilized. But is running away. Let's see what the Raptors are up to. The Raptors. Oh, there's one Raptor right here. Hunted down by... Was that a tranquilized one? Or... It didn't seem like it. I'm not too sure. Maybe the raptors are the only one that's actually doing the job right now. Where are the other raptors? Hiding in the forest where there are no... <laughs> pterosaurs. Let's see. There is one there. There's one right here looking for food. Well, that you're just going to grab a snack from that one. But that's not really fair. The other Velociraptors, I don't know what they are doing. The Indominus Rex, what's the Indominus Rex doing? Casually sitting! Oh, look at that, so cute! <laughs> Just making friends with the Dimorphodon. Oh, that... <laughs> look at that, it's also looking at it like... Don't worry, buddy, I got you. Shared with Dimorphodon. Look, at it, it's neutral, we know that now. Look at that. No, this is adorable. I've already got a big friend right there. <laughs> Where are oh, the raptors are actually... Oh no, that's an Indoraptor. Where are the raptors? This is an Alpha Raptor. There's so many icons. Uh, let's see. This is another Velociraptor. Where's that Tersal? I just want a Tersal being taken down. It is possible because of course the, the animations exist there. But <laughs> I don't know if the animations would actually trigger when a dinosaur is in the aviary. Probably not. We know from this now. So if you have dinosaurs in the aviary, with, which can only be done by m mods, um, <laughs> yes, the hunting of them will go down. But yet again, I don't know what to trigger them. They don't have any food. So I thought that would actually uh, do the trick. That Velociraptor is hunting, but for what? Look at that little <laughs> Dimorphodon sitting next to the raptors. Maybe it has to be done by another, um... No, it was a Pteranodon. Oh, I actually thought that was the... Okay. I actually thought it was going to do a pounce attack on the Dimovdon. That Dimovdon did not have any reflexes. That, no dodge reflexes there. It knew it was fine from the beginning. 
Only other pterosaurs can hunt down other pterosaurs. And, and that is pretty much it. I don't think uh, me releasing a different type of pterosaur would actually activate the animations. Because the, uh, even the, uh, what's the other, um, pterosaur, uh, called again? Oh boy, that name. The name. <laughs> the Cyrodactylus, actually. Um, or the Tropio, I don't think is going to trigger the animations. Because it is kind of the same as the ten. Oh, I forgot to remove this one. That's uh, because my game crashed. And then it loads up the autosave. <laughs> Only to uh, a certain point, I forgot to review that. But we do have some Tessels on the ground there. Look at that, Velociraptor hunting now. Is it? It so looked like it was hunting down that Tessel. Maybe. Maybe. But here we have another theory. That the pterosaurs actually do have food. So what if I remove the food for the pterosaurs. And then they would actually go for the raptors. Which I actually had to do for the Indoraptor episode. Because yes, the pterosaurs would not do that. Unless they don't have any food or any water. And then they attack at the last attempt or something like that. Uh, uh, Indoraptor or raptor. But since they break out... And they sometimes do that even though they have food. It's a bit of a bit of a guess. Bit of a guess if they do that now. Say it's already low health. Really? <laughs> Removed the feeder five seconds ago. <laughs> it's already low health. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Didn't have any food for two minutes. Oh my and a dead dinosaur. You can hunt the down by Tesla. Right. Oh. Yes, it is shared. The population is uh, a bit too much there for some pterosaurs. The raptors are just taking over the pond. Casually looking at the sky too. Of course the head, they do like code in that they, they, they lock on. Is this happening? Oh my word, don't do that to me. Where are you going? You don't hunt anything, you're panicking. For what? The pterosaurs. Interesting. Interesting to say the least. Where are the raptors? They're all scattered. One's here, one's there, one's there. Let's see, the, the, we're missing one raptor though. I think this raptor is just chilling. Same with that one. What's happening with this one? Hunted down by... Yeah, but you were already dead. You were already dead, so how is that possible? It was hunted down by Ternodon. Oh, wait. It's, it says Ternodon. <laughs> so I thought it actually said uh, Velociraptor. Was that the same with the other one? Did I get confused by the other one? Look at that! The Tessels just... Yeah, they're on the Indominus Rex's side. He just literally almost landed on top of the Indominus Rex. And the Velociraptors will not hunt down the Tessels. Even though it's such an easy kill. But yet again, they do eat from it. If they do find a body feeding, feeding, they will get plenty of food. But now, I just want to trigger the Pterosaurs into attacking the dinosaurs for food. But, yet again, the, I guess the Pterosaurs. What is going on with that? <laughs> with <the laughs> flopping Pterosaurs all around. I do think the Pterosaurs could eat from the other Pterosaurs. Bit of a Majungasaurus can, uh, cannibal action there, but... To show the tassels are dropping left and right. It's all the dimorphodons. When you remove the fetus, all the pteranodons just take over the aviary. And, and that's it. That is it. Hmm. So if I actually activate breakouts on high escapes, if I do that, will, of course, the tassels would, you would think, break out. That helicopter is still up here. <laughs> You'd think the pterosaurs would break out, and it would um, actually cause a, a gap uh, up high right here. But if you have a Velociraptor in the aviary, will it break? How would it break out? How would a Velociraptor break out of the aviary into the open world we see right here? Would that count as a breakout when it's not actually in an enclosure? But we're tricking the game into thinking it's an enclosure. But it's not. Will it still break out? I don't think so because it has water and food for days. <laughs> yeah. I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. I would have to triple speed and it would still not happen. I think if I triple speed it's it's still not going to trigger any sort of breakout. Maybe by the Tesla sign. This Velociraptor is going crazy. Panicking, panicking. I thought it was actually hunting. I thought that was, yeah, I thought this was what the 
with the claws up here like this. I thought it was going into the hunting animation, but that's not the case, uh, I guess. Tails also dropping left and right. <laughs> we are only going to have Ternodons in this uh, aviary right here. Uh, I'm losing track of all the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs are definitely, they're also not attacking the Indominus. That was totally, that was it. Yes, it was. Oh, I had it sped up. But that was a Ternodon going down by Velociraptor. That was definitely it. Okay, so that is still possible in your aviary. The Indoraptor could have done it as well. But uh, if the Indoraptor did not get hunted down by um, the... Actually, actually, I wanted to click on the... <laughs> I didn't even see you, Blue. <laughs> um, also camouflaging. So it is possible if you have it in your aviary. That's interesting. That's actually... It's difficult to follow. Because <laughs> I don't know which Tesla is going to attack which uh, Velociraptor. And we'll actually go down. Of course, the moment when I speed up, the actual animation goes into play. Uh, I did want to see that on the Indominus Rex's uh, uh, part. But now that I actually triggered the Tanadons into going into that animation, we actually see... Let's actually stop this. Maybe it's intervening with something. Uh, because every time the Indominus is looking up towards the helicopter or is just looking up to a Tanadon right here. Um, maybe now it will activate. Maybe others now would follow that Tersaur into death. And then we would have it. But yet again, we need to keep a close eye on all the Tersaurs. All the Dimorphodons are gone, of course. <laughs> Ternodons. They're just so sleepy. Look at that. Where are all the raptors on this side? I think that one is also being hunted down. I saw that icon move like crazy. And I can't see. I paused the game just in time. Let's actually remove this forest. Can we remove? Yes, we can. Let's see. Oh, boy. Radius up right there. Look at that. And we see right here a Ternodon going for a Velociraptor. Oh, it actually tried to pick it up. Oh, <laughs> okay. There it goes. And sitting next to it. It actually tried to pick up blue. I didn't see that before. Only getting hunted down, but yet again, I was getting used to by seeing the, uh, oh boy. You are going down, I think. But no, 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 you aren't going down because you ate some pterosaurs. You ate some pterosaurs. Of course I could release. Look at that pterodon. Look at the Indominus. <laughs> no, not you. This one. Look at it. It's literally staring at it. It's coded in to stare at the dinosaur. <laughs> There he goes. Maybe it's triggering hunting Velociraptor. This one's actually hunting one of the Velociraptors. Oh, watch out for Indominus Rex there. Why aren't you hunting down an Indominus? It's stuck in the air, eh? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe Indominus Rex is blocking it? Not too sure. Expiring, of course. If we speed this up. Flap, 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 flap. <laughs> the same as that one. I don't, I don't think anything is going to happen. Where are all the other raptors? No, they're fine. Let's see what actually happens. I think they're stuck. I think these two are stuck forever. Uh, along with the raptors. Yeah, it's bugged out. Oh, that one will go down though. This Velocer will go down. Yep, that's another Velocer. <laughs> this one is just stuck in that animation. I think this is a different universe. Pterodons in this actual <laughs> game just communicate with the Indominus Rex. They don't attack each other. They don't come become too over um, <laughs> agitated with a hybrid being in their home. And Indominus Rex is just like, you know what? I'm fine like this. I'm not going to hunt you down. And the animations don't exist. So, and there we have it. But uh, I just, in general, I wanted to see the Indominus being in the aviary. Just like this. This is fine. Awesome. You just put down, like, a normal feeder. Uh, when you don't have any other stuff to put in. But, uh, there you go. That's an Indominus. In the aviary, I did have full uh, breakout. So, that needs to be updated as well. Because no Pteranodons break out. Uh, or, or... Dinosaurs in this case such as the Indominus Rex. They don't actually break out So there you have it and I can't like create uh, a broken fence as you see right here Sometimes you can like demolish a gate and then that would trigger the dinosaurs if I demolish an aviary uh, I can't because there's dinosaurs either block in that area or It does not create a 
<laughs> a broken thing in your aviary. It just stays intact with the other one. So that's not an option as well. But anyways, this was a nice little test I wanted to try out. So, there you have it. Ah, uh, yes. It's not the outcome we absolutely were hoping for. But it was pretty cool and still pretty <laughs> fun to see <laughs> a forbidden dinosaur in the aviary. So yes, let me know what you think of that uh, down below. And uh, yes, this is going to be the end of this test little uh, episode. Next up, I do want to test out some other stuff. So make sure to tune in for some other terrain mod testing out stuff we're going to do. And by that, of course, Stump and Indominus or T-Rex for that subscribe and bell button to get notified for these upcoming videos. Now, with that being said, I hope all of you lovely Indominus Rexes are going to have a great day and see all you lovely Tarsals in the next episode. Goodbye, T-Rexes, Alpha Tyrannosaurus, the Talking T-Rex, out.